Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Amaya here. So for this first workout, you're gonna be needing a resistance band. I picked this up from Five Below, so you can pretty much find these anywhere now. But we're gonna be doing the side steps. For this, you want to pretend you're about to go in squat position, but you're not actually in squat position yet. And this is really just gonna get your glutes activated. So yeah, pretty much all of these workouts are self-explanatory um, from the video. But yeah, I did four sets of 12 of these and I did four sets of 12 of all my workouts. So yeah, the next workout we're gonna be doing are air squats. No weight, you don't need any weight for these. We're just getting our glutes activated. And you wanna make sure your knees are not going past your toes because that's bad on your knees and then you're not really activating your butt. So you kinda wanna lean back a little bit and use the heel of your toe. Use the heel of your foot, not your toe. Um, that's going to activate your glutes rather than your legs and I also did four sets of 12 of these as well one thing I also forgot to mention is make sure you squeeze your glutes when you're getting up your butt is gonna look crazy but it's gonna be all worth it right so yeah just make sure you're squeezing your glutes um as you go come up from your squat position okay so for this next workout you are going to be needing a weight i use a 10 pound weight you can use a dumbbell if you have those but i just used one of these little weights here and um i'm just squatting down in the same position as a regular squat but your feet are going to be more pointed out this time like a sumo wrestler and um again when you're coming up you want to make sure you squeeze your booty okay and make sure your knees do not go past your toes it is a little bit harder using a weight to um you know kind of make sure your knees do not go past your toes because you get tired and you just get lazy sometimes and you'll see in some parts my knees probably went a little bit past my toes but again i fixed it a little bit so yeah, you want to make sure your back is straight and you're literally pushing your butt out as you go down to really get your booty activated. And I also did four sets of 12. I did four sets of 12 for all my workouts. Just so you guys know, you can change it to three sets of 15 if you would like to. For this next workout, we're going to be doing a curtsy lunge and you are going to be needing more weight for this. So I just did two 10 pound weights for this one and you want your legs to be in an L shape and then your back leg to be, as you guys can see, positioned a little bit further back from my forward leg. This is so confusing to say, but you guys can literally see how I'm positioning everything. Um, and then you want to bend your knees again. You want to make sure your knees do not go past your toes. As you guys can see, my knee kind of went a little bit past my toe because my back leg probably wasn't out enough. So just make sure your back leg is out enough so that when you go down, your knee does not go past your toe. And these are going to target your um, the side of your glutes also. And yeah. next workout these are one of the most popular workouts to do to target your glutes and these are going to be the weighted hip thrust so I use two 10 pound weights for this again you can go lower or higher whatever you need to do um, my heels my toes are off the floor and I'm using my heels to help push and squeeze my glutes up with the weight and you want the weights to be right on your lower abdominal and you're just literally squeezing your booty up um, again, I'm doing four sets of 12 for this as well. Also, make sure your butt does not stay on the floor for too long. As you guys can see, I'm literally tapping the floor and just coming right back up from the squeeze. And the next one we're doing is donkey kicks. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, again, go slow with these workouts, guys. You do not have to go so fast. You don't have to speed. You know, you're not in a rush. Um, you just want to make sure you're squeezing your, your legs, your glutes. 
as you go back up. The next workout we're doing are fire hydrants. These are gonna target the side of your glutes. Targeting the side of your glutes are really just gonna give you that nice hourglass shape. Okay, so again, for these four sets of 12 on both legs, these will kill you, okay? They look easy, but keeping your leg up for a little bit is literally going to kill your legs and your booty. But yeah, you want to make sure you're not um, just lifting your leg up and putting it down. As you guys can see, I'm keeping my leg up for, you know, a quick little second um, to really just target your glutes and really just get it activated and stuff. So make sure you're not going too fast in these workouts. lastly do not forget to stretch everyone i stretched before also super important you don't want to have any muscle soreness or anything like that you're going to be sore after these workouts but you know you just want to make sure you're still able to like bend and stuff um so yeah just make sure you guys stretch before and after your workouts and yeah that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment and i'll see you guys in my next video bye